What is up everybody? So as you may know, I like cover a bunch of iPhones and not too long ago the iPhone 10 came out right. I stood in line, I got it, but then I ended up not liking it so I ended up returning it and a lot of people kept questioning me like, oh, why'd you return it, this and that? And this was a couple months ago and since then I kind of laid down a little bit, but recently I went and I pretty much wanted to get another iPhone 10, right? So I was looking online, I'm like, bro, I'm not about to spend like a thousand bucks on a new iPhone. And me personally, I love buying used products. All my iPhones I've ever owned were pretty much used. I don't think I've ever owned a new device in like the last like five or six years, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I love I love getting used devices just because they're so much cheaper than the newer ones. There's no point. But pretty much I wanted to buy an iPhone 10, right? So I kept searching through eBay. I didn't want to go through Craigslist or anything. And so I ended up buying an iPhone 10. Now I want you to know, okay? And so I ended up getting this iPhone, okay? Now before I show you the screen, I want you to know that I did know what the problem with the screen was. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, you can say, oh, how'd you not know this? I knew the problem was with the screen, but there's another problem with this that just totally ruins the whole entire device altogether, which is even worse than the screen. So I'm gonna so this is what the screen looks like. You can see um, it has a huge green line going through it, which is super weird. I don't even know what the problem was with this, right? But when I went through eBay and I saw that screen, I'm like, okay, wait a second. That doesn't seem like somebody dropped it or anything because the, the rest of the body seemed fine, right? So then I went through and I Googled it. I Googled iPhone 10 green line going through screen. And then I saw a lot, I saw so many people talking about, um, this was early on when the iPhone 10 was released and they were talking about it was pretty much a hardware problem where some iPhone 10 since it had like an OLED screen or something, it would have a green line going through it. Then pretty much you just have to take it into Apple and they'll fix it for free. And so I kept reading and reading and I took like an hour or two just reading and trying to like understand this whole thing. So then what I did, well, and this guy was selling it for super cheap. He was only selling it for like 500 something dollars. And so I messaged the guy, right? And I was like, you know, is there anything else wrong with it besides the screen? You know, does anything else not work or whatever? And what he told me was everything works. I'm not going to show you the messages, but he basically said everything works. Like there's no problems with it just besides the screen. And so at the time, I, I was thinking to myself, I was like, why couldn't the guy just take it to the Apple store, right? I was like, if there's a problem with it, why couldn't he just take it to the Apple store and fix it? I didn't want to message him though, because some people honestly don't know. And I was like, you know what? I might get a really good deal off it. So I'll just like keep it. So fast forward a couple of days, right? I'm like waiting and stuff. And I actually get it in the mail and it comes with a box and everything. And I went and I matched the serial number with the phone with the box. So I knew it wasn't stolen or anything. So that was a good sign. And I checked the ESN and IMEI number, whatever, and the serial number. Everything came out to be clean and it still had a warranty. So that was cool. And I was like, wait a second, this might be a fake iPhone. But no, it ended up being real. I was just being dumb. So I called the Apple store and then I made an appointment, a center for like this Monday or something, right? So today's Wednesday, Jesus, sorry, Wednesday. So I go in, right? And I walk in. First of all, the customer service person I was on, they said, I told him to set it on Monday and she acknowledged that, but then they sent it on Tuesday by accident. So I walked in the Apple store and they're like, oh, you're supposed to be here tomorrow. But then they were cool with it. So then they just kind of like saw me the, that day, but that was kind of weird. So then I go ahead, right? And then I'm just sitting there and they only take like a couple minutes. And so I hand the guy my phone. He's like, oh, are you here for uh, the iPhone 10? I'm like, yeah, here it is. It has a problem with it. And the guy was cool. He was like, oh, okay, no problem. You know, um, you know, all iPhone 10s are still under warranty up until this November because it's still under the one year warranty. Um, so if you have any problems with it or anything, then you can go ahead and, and fix it here. And another thing I want to know before I even go any further. Face ID doesn't work on this either, which was so weird because the guy never said anything about it either, which, you know, I'm not too salty about, you know, I should have been a little bit more careful. I'm not blaming eBay either. eBay is not the problem here. Um, the guy who sold me the phone is the problem. And that's one thing I want to note. eBay is such an amazing platform. It gets a bad rap sometimes because of people like this. But yeah, Face ID doesn't work here either. I didn't even know it could have been disabled like that. So that kind of gave me some weird vibes too. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, wait, well, that's weird. And the guy never mentioned anything about it. So then I brought it into the Apple store, right? And the guy was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. We can fix it. Like, like I said, he said it's under the one year warranty so we can get it done. So then he goes and he looks around the phone and he types in the serial number on his iPhone or iPad. I don't really remember which one he had, but he goes in and he actually checks and he's like, oh, have, have you brought this phone into the Apple store before? I'm like, you know what, honestly, bro, like, I don't know. I just bought the phone secondhand. I bought it on eBay. So, uh, you know, he, the, that guy might have brought it in before. And he was like, oh, okay. Then he kept scrolling through and he like kept taking a minute and he was like, he still had the phone. And then what he did was he went into the SIM card tray and he popped out the SIM card. I was like, what is he doing that for? And then he pulled out the SIM card, right? And he was looking inside of it and he was like, huh, okay. He was like, did the, and this, this is what the guy said straight up. He was like, did the guy tell you that this device was water damaged? I was like, oh my God. 
I was like, no, he didn't. And I was like, at that point, I was like, oh, that's why he sold it. And that's why he didn't fix it himself because the device was water damaged. And I was like, no, he didn't. And then I was sitting there. I was like, dude, that was so sad. I was like, so sad inside. I was like, dang it, dude. Because the, the Apple store is like half an hour away from me. So I got to go drive like half an hour to go there to do it anyway. And then he's like, yeah, you know, that's that's going to be a bit of a problem. We won't really be able to work on it because it is water damaged. And so I was like, see, I wasn't I wasn't mad at the Apple store person. You know, he's trying to do his job. You, you should never like turn up on an Apple store employee or anything like that. Dude, they're, they're just the messengers. You know, if you want to go for somebody, <laughs> first of all, you shouldn't even go for somebody in the first place. But so, yeah, fast forward like 20 minutes of me crying. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I didn't really cry, but. I sat there and I was like, you know what? Like, I didn't know. Is there any way you can work on it? You know, just the screen. I mean, the screen isn't necessarily like the water damage. The screen works fine. I was just saying some stuff. I didn't even know what I was saying. But he was like, you know, unfortunately, if your device is water damaged, that's not covered under Apple, the Apple warranties. So we won't be able to work on it. You know, I'm sorry, this and that. If the device wasn't water damaged, we would be able to fix it. And then he kind of showed me some more stuff. He was like, you know what, if you want, um, we can send you a replacement device. And I was like, oh, how much is that? He was like, oh, it's $589. I'm like, man, I thought it was free. So I was like, oh, dang it. And so I actually thought about it for a minute. I was like, you know what, I'll probably end up just spending the same amount for a new iPhone. So I was like, no, just forget it. I'll just take it. I'll just return it. And so I went and now we're here. So I actually messaged the seller again and he hasn't responded back in like two or three days which is perfectly fine. eBay has this thing where it's a money back guarantee. So if you don't get the device that was mentioned in the description, if you didn't say anything was wrong with it, then they're going to send you your money back. And in some cases they may let you keep the device. <laughs> it just depends if the seller contacts me back or not. Because what happens is, is once you sell a phone on eBay, you don't get the money right away. The seller doesn't get the money right away. It goes into your PayPal account or your eBay account or something like that. And you won't be able to get it for like 21 days. If you have over like a thousand sales or something that you can get it immediately, I think. But for most people, if you have like 20, if you if you only sold like a couple of things on eBay and you have like a five customer feedback rating, then they usually keep the money for like 21 days and then they release it if there's no problems or if they, there's no return. So I already initiated a return. So I will be getting my money back, but I'll keep you guys updated what happens. So pretty much what I want to say and what the learning uh, outcome was from this is that if you plan on getting an iPhone 10 used and it might have a problem like this with the green line running through it or it has another problem, whether it has a cracked screen or it has a faulty face ID or it has a bad camera or whatever, because the iPhone 10s are still under warranty, they can technically fix this. But what you want to make sure is that the device is not water damaged because as you can see, the device looks perfectly fine. There's really nothing wrong with this device. I mean, it works perfectly fine. Everything but Face ID. But I didn't even know Face ID was a problem. Once I booted up and I saw that, I was like, Face ID has been disabled. I started freaking out. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't even... I was like, you know what? I don't really like Face ID that much anyway, but like, I still want it. I still want to grow into it. So yeah, the learning thing is here, make sure the device obviously is in working condition, making sure that the Face ID works, but more importantly, make sure that the device is not water damaged because if there is a problem with the device as soon as you get it or anything like that, if the camera goes bad, if the battery goes bad, the charging port or whatever, I'm not sure what the Apple warranty fixes but you want to make sure that the device is not water damaged. I'm not sure how you do it. You just take out the SIM card and you look through and there should be like a pink ribbon or white ribbon there or a white little sticker. And if it's pink, that means it's water damaged. If it's white, then that means it's not water damaged. And the reason you don't want that happening, and like I said in my story, I should probably like make that story into a movie, dude. Would you guys watch it? That was like a, some blockbuster type stuff. But yeah, because if you run into a problem with your iPhone 10 and it's like two months down the line, Technically, you're still under the Apple warranty, but you're not because the device is water damaged. And that kind of makes sense. Like, oh, you know, like don't buy a phone that's water damaged or whatever. Like you're dumb. You could have just asked him. But I did ask him if you remember, I messaged him. I said, is anything else wrong with it? And the guy even knew because the guy showed me that the, that the person before went to the Apple store to get it fixed as well. And he couldn't because it was water damaged. And the weird thing is, is that this phone is not reported stolen. It's not, it has a clean ESN or IMEI. So I could technically use this phone and use it just fine. I could even hire somebody to fix this screen locally, but I'm not too sure how the face ID situation will work because face ID does not work on this. So what I feel like is I'm better off just returning it and then using that money and buying another iPhone 10 or just keeping my iPhone for a little bit longer and waiting until the newer iPhones come out. I don't know. I'll, I'll just have to wait and see.
But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. If you want, leave your condolences down in the description below. I'm actually pretty salty though, because like at first I was like, you know what, this actually might come through, you know, it might actually be a pretty decent device. And I actually had a video planned on, it was gonna be called the cheapest iPhone 10 uh, ever sold, or I don't remember what it was. But I was gonna go and I was just going to show that, you know, I bought this iPhone for this low of a price and then I went to the App Store and fixed it and this is what could happen. But I'm actually low-key kind of glad I didn't do that because a lot of people might have gotten the wrong idea and then ended up buying broken iPhone 10s like this and then trying to fix them and then it wouldn't have been fixed so in reality it worked out but at the same time it didn't um, so yeah now I'm here making this video like I said leave your condolences in the comment section below if you have any questions or anything leave that in the comment section below as well hit that like button that don't mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button on a positive note we are still giving away an iPhone success and an iPhone SE on this channel. And in order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All those links are down in the description, as well as another link explaining more about the giveaway. So it will mean so much if you guys could check that out. Also check out the other links down there too. My second channel, my SoundCloud, all that stuff is down there. You guys got to show me some love now because my iPhone 10 is broken. So. so yeah, but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys and hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.